Alan Dulles is the man behind the CIA and considered to be the one who founded the Central Intelligence Agency. And he not only lived in Bern, Switzerland for many, many years, but he's also of Swiss descent of the patrician Malay family of Geneva, the Gene of Eve, Geneva. And here you can see the cloak and dagger and the Swiss laws of silence smiling through their teeth. Now this here is very interesting. It's the EIR, the Executive Intelligence Review from uh, July 5th, 1983. And if I scroll it down, well, I do it slowly so you can punch pause and read the whole thing yourselves. There's a lot more in it. You know, I just show you a couple of things. Only the things here concerning uh, Alan Dulles in Switzerland. And uh, I put it anyway. I put I put it in the links for you in the in the description underneath the video, so you can all look it up yourself. And here it says, um, Alan Dulles. He arrived in Switzerland in 1942, and he was there in 1917, meeting with uh, Lenin. They, they were he was friends with Lenin. You see, the guy who killed all the Russians. And only the poor Russians, the people, you know, the, the, the army deserters and farmers. He was together in bed with Nazi supporters. And so this is, you know, Octagon, Swiss, Swiss, the Swiss Huns. And here he was in the, in the uh, he, um, he represented IG Farben. I'll come back to that later. He was in bed with all the Nazis, this, this guy here, uh, who, who became the, the first you know, a civil director of the, uh, of the CIA. Yeah, here it says, Dulles, whose family was related to the Geneva patrician family of the Malay, uh, had been with brother John Foster. So he's Swiss, his ancestors are Swiss. They're all Swiss. Every time it's Swiss, Swiss, Swiss. The Huns have taken over with their broad skulls, non-European. So you can read the whole article. So this is the um, Executive Intelligence Report. So here it says too in another book, I put it all in the links for you, that the Geneva headquarters of the CIA and the OSS was run by the Malay Prevot family whose descendants include Alan Dulles of the CIA. There you go. CIA is Swiss. They took the head of it and they let only Swisses in on all key positions. Here's yeah, some more. In 1921 Alan Dulles was posted to Bern, Switzerland by his uncle Secretary Lansing where he took over the role of Chief of Intelligence in the American le le Legation. In Switzerland, Dolls was met by his cousins, you know, they're all cousins, members of the Malay family. Dolls' uncle, Petit Dol, had married the Swiss-American Julia Malay Prévost. Both the Prévost and the Mallets were uniquely powerful families in international politics and finance, holding hereditary seats in the Council of 200, ruling Geneva, Switzerland. This group with the British royals formed a joint committee of spy masters working for the aristocracy that went back to at least the 18th century. The Malais Prévost were also responsible for injecting the Scottish Rite of Masonry into the United States. By the mid-1920s, Dull, his name was not Dulles, but Dull, was tapped to be the first secretary of the American Embassy in Berlin. Dull was also a director of the Schroeder Bank, well that's Schroeder, that handled Hitler's personal funds. In June 1920, American Army Captain Truman Smith was brought into the Berlin mission as a military observer. In 1922, after Mussolini, in the pay of British intelligence, had taken over Italy, etc., etc. But this guy is Swiss, you know, and they're not French, you know. These names are French, but they they have all 
brachycephalic Hans heads from Geneva all the way up to Basel all the way down again to Tessin they are not Italian, French or German they are a completely different species as I already told you and they are everywhere they have taken over all key positions and here's some more here it says how they are I well, just can't see that so Alan Dulles and the CIA its office of scientific intelligence position to research mind manipulation and the use of drugs in such matters even though the CIA was clearly behind many of the mind control programs you know like um, uh, the monarch and the uh, MK Ultra, and I just remember the latest attack on the on the beach is also connected again to Switzerland. Uh, see my films about how they uh, manipulated uh, the um, how they provoked the Tunisians by uh, throwing down their national hero, you know, and it came out six days before the uh, the attacks, and this guy was on drugs again, just like the Germans with the. Uh, uh, with their um, amphetamines and, and every time it's drugs and you know Switzerland and here in the same time during the war there was a British ambassador uh, yeah, well, probably to Switzerland and his name was here British ambassador Victor Mallet of the same family of uh, the CIA dolls it's all Switzerland, Switzerland, Switzerland. Swiss, Swiss, Swiss. Uh, Alan Dulles, or I'd rather say Alain Dull, he was a lawyer, as many of these men on powerful positions usually are. And he worked already at the US Embassy in Bern in 1917, where he got friends with Vladimir Lenin, who also spent many, many years in Switzerland before they let him lose on the Russian people killing millions during the Red Terror, mostly murdering Russian peasants and army deserters. These good Russian men opposed to war and against those pharaonic Tsars from Tsar, meaning a king in demotic pharaonic as in a Tsar, coffages, a box to put the king in when he's dead. So here you can see the house where Lenin lived in Bern, which is in the... Um, uh, Seidenweg 8, uh, number 8, and this is where Alan Dulles came in all the time, you know, as he was living just around the corner in the Herngasse, number 23. I could have looked, go, gone and have a, a you know, videotape it all for you because this house still exists, but as I can't go out of the door, you know, I haven't been out for, for weeks now uh, because of the Swiss. Um, terror and the uh, and the police lying things together and all that well you know about that so here's the entire article I can I can scroll it down here for you and uh, I put in the links for you anyway so well I put the rest in the links so Lenin and dolls, you know, they were friends, seeing each other all the time, having a beer in Bern, Switzerland. Switzerland, Switzerland, Switzerland. And during World War II, Alan Dolls lived in the Herngasse 23, 23, in Bern, Switzerland, just around the corner from Mr. Lenin. Being the Swiss director of the Office of Strategic Services, the OSS, again SS in it, as most of his pals were, and predecessor of the CIA, where he had mostly Nazi friends from Octagon and meeting many German Nazi officers. And it was of course also the OSS and uh, Alan Dulles of the Swiss, you know, like the, you know, the Swiss Red Cross and all that, that had all these guys come to the US, you know, and give him a post to this C in the CIA. They all came into the CIA, all these, this is what happened. Alan Dahl, Switzerland, with their broad skulls, non-European. So this is, yeah, Alan Dulles on Wikipedia, there he is. He looks so innocent, you know, as the Swiss always do. 
but oh dear, be careful. So here I scroll down here, early career. Yeah, early career. So, and as a lawyer, he also worked for the Schroeder Bank and represented IG Farben in America. Uh, the ones who produced Zyklin B to eliminate all the Jews and their children, of which Swissy Alan Dulles was part of the whole genocidal construction by the Huns of the Alps, with their Central Asian brachycephalic head forms and non-European Hun skulls. Every time Switzerland is involved in all these crimes against humanity, and they occupy all key positions, every time Switzerland, Switzerland, Switzerland. So here it says... Um, Zyklin B. There you go. He also handled IG Farben's litigation up until 1942. IG Farben was a large company in Nazi Germany, notorious known for producing Zyklin B gas used to kill Jews in the concentration camps. So, I mean... What is this so-called American doing for a Nazi company producing poisons for a genocide? Well, he was not American. He was Swiss. It was Malay. And the Swiss were on both sides, you know, in the US, in England, and of course they financed the Nazis and all that. And they got filthy, filthy rich. Here it says, Herngasse 23. That's where he lived, just around the corner from, well, there's a lot from Lenin. So there's a lot more to read here. I'll put in the links for you as well. There you go, another Swissy who got through the Operation Paperclip, got them all into the U.S. And that's what, what I've been telling you. All these black people being randomly shut down today in America's street. Well, it's Octagon. There are one million Swiss Americans actually at the moment in the US and they've taken over all key positions and they're going to do the same thing as they've done in Nazi Germany to the Germans and you could see by the head forms the Germans are not the same. I'll put the link of this article of a guy who's living in an American living in Switzerland and apparently he read my uh, he saw my videos as well so I put the entire link in the descriptions. So you can read yourself the 10 reasons why Switzerland is home to the CIA. Well, at least the 10 reasons of this American guy in Zurich, uh, who's not so fond of Switzerland either, apparently. And I told you so in one of my previous films that had been, it has been deleted now. Uh, the, the title of my film was Octagon Rules Over Pentagon. And it's so true. It's 100% true. That Octagon rules over Pentagon. Then, after the war, which was a great success for the Swiss and their Alan Dulles, he became the first civil director of the CIA from 1953 to 1961. Swiss, he had the head of the CIA on the Swiss sleeper agent Eisenhower and with Swiss gay Edgar on top of the FBI, Swiss everywhere. And bye bye, America. So you can understand that Swiss Alan Dulles only let Swissies in on all CIA's key positions. Same for the FBI and under Eisenhower. That's why Alan Dulles' brother, John Foster Dulles, becoming Secretary of State during the Eisenhower administration. The Huns on all key positions now. Well, let's have the Cold War really start now and bomb the hell out of the North Koreans and the Vietnamese using biological warfare and both people on both peoples like Agent Orange. While showing the sound of money, oh, I'm sorry, the sound of music and picture of that clean and innocent Alps to the American public while the Huns taking over the Per Het, the real demotic name of the White House. So here you can see Alan Dulles with his lovely, innocent Swiss smile, together with JFK. Well, he was thinking something else, didn't he now, eh? Like here, title of a book here. Well, I didn't read it, but I, I know what happened. 
And it was John F. Kennedy who finally fired Alan Dulles and had to pay the, um, the ultimate price with all Octagon's men and all military and intelligence key positions for the Huns a piece of cake to wipe him out and cover it up with Alan Dulles in the Warren Commission and back in the saddle riding the United States of America.